Hello guys, since few days I have been wondering when was the first artificial satellite launched. Yes, you heard it right, I am talking about artificial satellite. So guys, today's video is going to be really interesting, so watch till the end. Welcome back to the channel, seriously true. Let's get started. A satellite is a body that orbits around another, but the term is usually applied to small bodies which orbit around the planets. Most of the planets have satellites revolving around them. For example, Moon is the only satellite of Earth, but apart from the natural satellites of the planets, several man-made or artificial satellites have been launched which now orbit the Earth and some of the other planets in the solar system. But when did man send the first artificial satellite into the space? The first artificial satellite was launched into the space by the former USSR on October 4, 1957, which was called Sputnik. One. Sputnik is a Russian word for a traveling companion. It was spherical in shape with a diameter of 58 centimeters and weighing 83 kilograms. It orbited the Earth every 96 minutes. A month later, the launching of Sputnik 2, which weighed 500 kilograms, created another landmark in the space history as it carried the first ever space traveler, that is, a dog named Laika. This established the fact that a warm blooded animal could live in space, thus, paving the way for man's venture into the space, which finally succeeded in 1961 when Yuri Gagarin of former USSR orbited the Earth in his spacecraft Vostok 1. The first American satellite was Explorer 1, which was launched January 31, 1958 and weighed only 14 kilograms. The first American astronaut to be in space was John Glenn in 1962. The first women space traveler was Valentina Tereshkova of former USSR. But what functions do these artificial satellites perform in the space? So friends, they are used for radio and TV communication, weather forecasting, geological surveys, telecommunication, defense and spying purposes, scientific studies like space and astronomical observations, crop patterns and oceanography. Depending on their functions, they are called communication satellites, weather satellites, scientific satellites, earth resources satellites, etc. Some satellites perform a number of functions and are called multi-purpose satellites. So guys, this was all about artificial satellite. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like the video. If so, do hit on the like button. Do share the video with your family and loved ones. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. Keep watching Seriously True. We'll be right back with a new video. Thank you and have a good day.